Today I'm excited for my brand new all AMD sim racing build. Let's start unboxing. This is a B650 motherboard. There wasn't any specific reason why I went for this one. Um, I don't, I'm not too interested in the gaming specific ones. I don't think they add anything over the normal one. So this is just a normal pro grade B650. Because we're using this Noctua fan instead of the stock cooler, I'm just going to remove these stock mounting plates. I just want to shout out, this is a really nice solid mounting plate on the back here. This wasn't the case with the AM4 motherboards, it would slide all over the place and it was just plastic. Because I haven't got my RAM kit through yet, I'm just checking the clearances to make sure that once I mount the cooler, I'll still be able to access the RAM slots. And it looks like there's a decent amount of room. The question is, is the AMD Ryzen 5 7600 fast enough for sim racing? I don't know whether this is very visible, but I'm just going to attach the Noctua cooling fan adapter. You need to make sure that your fan mounts are done up tight, firm, not over tightened because the whole pressure that the cooler is applying to the CPU is dependent upon that connection. So you really don't want it to come loose while you're using it. Just going to do a quick test. Next up we apply the thermal paste. This is a very important part. So the thermal paste makes sure that the CPU doesn't overheat. This is absolutely critical. So the key thing is the cooler needs to be absolutely secured. No flex at all in any of the components that we've attached. This fan came from my last build and it's probably not the best looking thing for this build, um, but it's certainly functional, so I see how I get on with it. Um, it's important to remember the airflow. So what we're looking for is for the air to flow through the case from front to back. These are the ports that you'll connect on the back of your PC. So you want the airflow to come in one steady state through. On the fan, it's got uh, an arrow on the top here. So you can see that we want to make sure that the airflow is this way through the system. Attach the CPU fan. And now it weighs an awful lot more than it did. Next up we've got WD Black hard disk. This is a one terabyte disk. I thought about getting two or four, but I've got one currently because my old machine was one and I didn't know whether I was going to take them take the disk from that. And this is a heatsink for the hard disk. There we go, because we don't have a RAM, that's as much as we can do with the board for now. So we've added the CPU, added the CPU cooler, added our storage, RAM just needs to go in here. Um, now it's time to get on pending the case. You're going to have to change angles so you can actually see anything. So I had to get a new case because graphics cards are absolutely monstrous now. 
This is called a mid tower case and I cannot believe how big it is. This is the NZ XT H7 Flow. It's no wonder their computer graphics card in my case because this is a monster. The important thing here is this is an ingest fan. So the air comes in through here and out through there. The writing is this way up. So you can see if we put the fan into the case, if we put the power supply into the case the correct way for the writing, then the fan is going to be on the top and it's going to be sucking in all the hot air from the case. So we want to make sure that we put it in upside down for the writing so that it's bringing in cold air from the base.